All right, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing another Walking Dead video for today leading up to the 11th episode for The Walking Dead Season 8. In this one, we're going to give our thoughts on some recent news, some articles uh, discussing more spin-off series coming potentially for The Walking Dead. And I'll put the link in the description as per usual for you guys. This one's to CBR.com uh, and it says more Walking Dead TV spinoffs. So more Walking Dead spinoffs reportedly in the uh, works and it comes after an interview with The Hollywood Reporter with Scott Gimple who was of course the showrunner for The Walking Dead up to the end of season 8 uh, which is you know wrapping up now we have six episodes left of uh, season 8 and then Angela Kang will be taking over um, for that, but he's moving to chief uh, content officer for the franchise for The Walking Dead in general, not just you know the original Walking Dead TV series, but other things that AMC is going to be working on as well too. So let's go through the article and give our thoughts. And so a bunch of you guys asked to hear what I think about this one, so let's go through it. Uh, CBR says the Walking Dead has been a pop culture phenomenon since debuting in 2010, with season eight in full swing. Despite fluctuating ratings, it still remains one of the most talked about shows on air. Now it appears that AMC wants to keep the ball rolling regarding the zombie apocalypse that Robert Kirkman first created for Image Comics by developing various spin-off TV projects. Um, and it says, quote-unquote, There are different approaches to how we tell stories and how long we tell them for and the places we can do them. I'm hoping to do a variety of different projects that are probably more in line with what we see on TV but maybe in different rhythms and formats and things like that. So that was from Scott Kimple with Hollywood Reporter. And then it continues here. We'll still continue to come out with great digital content, but I'm excited about the kind of stuff we can do. Uh, but I am really uh, talking about all sides of it, and I know we'll have more to talk about on that soon, he added. Kimple has moved from being showrunner to the franchise's chief content officer and is clearly looking at uh, following the mold of Fear the Walking Dead, which focuses on another corner of the Walking Dead universe in the uh, USA. Um, given that the outbreak is uh, global, Gimple could even focus on other countries and how they're handling the zombies with uh, Morgan Lenny James crossing over from The Walking Dead to Fear the Walking Dead. There's similar potential for other characters, says Norman Reedus' uh, Daryl Dixon, to even uh, move out and star in their own spin-off series. Well, that'd be cool. Uh, then again, the uh, show uh, could even go uh, the origins routes as The Walking Dead did start with the zombie outbreak already in full swing. Either way, Gimple knows that he has a uh, myriad of directions to bite into. So I like that, <laughs> to bite into, it's good. Um, so you guys can definitely check out this article for yourselves. A lot of different sites have been reporting out. A lot of you guys have sent me questions, you know, about this one. What do I think? This kind of thing. It's pretty early to say, right? You know, he's basically just kind of mentioned that he's been, you know, prom promoted to this role of franchise's chief content officer. We know that. And he's a master of, uh, of saying a bunch of words that, uh, <laughs> that you can't, uh, you know, draw any conclusions from. Like, like, look at this right here. We'll still continue to come out with great digital content, but I'm excited about the kind of stuff we can do. Okay, so let's stop with that. So he's excited that they have the option to do other things now and they can probably do other series and do other things they want if they have ideas that are good enough and if they have, uh, maybe he has the right resources now that he needs in order to possibly um, you know, add on additional things. There's even some sites reporting the possibility of them doing a cinematic Walking Dead version where you have like, uh, you know, movies for Walking Dead. Uh, but it'd probably be different. It probably wouldn't be Rick's group. It probably wouldn't be the survivors. It probably would be something else uh, entirely. But that would be really cool if they could uh, they could do something like that and be able to see the Walking Dead something on uh, the big screen or something would be really cool. So possi the possibility of maybe other... Um, you know, uh, countries or other, you know, sections of the zombie apocalypse and us getting to see, uh, you know, totally new groups and what happens with them as uh, things go through. The possibility, of course, of, of characters crossing over between content that they're doing, uh, be it Fear the Walking Dead and Walking Dead, or if they add on some other kind of show or they do something else, the possibility of some crossovers there could be really cool. Um, so, yeah, but then he says here, but I'm really talking about all sides of it and I know we'll have more to talk about uh, soon on that. So it's like, what? <laughs> like, wow, really? You're really talking about all sides of Prodown, uh, Walking Dead. Uh, and I know we'll have more to Okay, so basically you're saying, you know, there's a possibility. I guess 
what I would read from this whole thing is pretty much he's excited that they have probably um, more resources and that AMC is interested in producing more Walking Dead stuff. So they're happy with Walking Dead, obviously. They're happy with Fear of the Walking Dead, it sounds like. And they're even, you know, considering, it sounds like, doing some other projects, which could be, you know, who knows? It could be anything. It could be, like, more webisodes, this kind of thing, online series for Walking Dead. It could be, um, you know, who knows? Like, some sites speculate maybe a movie or something, which would be really cool. Or it could be an additional series in addition to what we have already. But I will say this, though. I think that when you have 16 episodes of The Walking Dead, and there are already some extended in there... And then you have another 16 of Fear the Walking Dead. That's 32 episodes a year of Walking Dead. Um, I'm not sure what else, you know, would you want to do like a third series on top of that? And, you know, bring it up to like a, you know, a 40 something week year. Like, Like more often than not, you have a Walking Dead episode of something. You know, you kind of have to be careful, I think, too, because, um, you know, they have, they have, I'm really appreciative and I really like the fact that they're doing so much Walking Dead. You know, they're doing Walking Dead, they're doing Fear, it's great. You have the Walking Dead comic book series. It is a huge license. You know, they've said before it's a multi billion dollar license for AMC, what they have. And they may be right about that. We'll have to see what the future holds for the Walking Dead and, and how much demand it has in the future. But I think it is still, you know, one of the best series on TV for sure. And it's one of the most popular series on TV. Obviously, the rating's still in the high. Uh, eights, which is is still uh, still incredible, you know, for for a series compared to what most TV shows will get, especially on a network like AMC. You know, it's not on CBS or something right after football or something where people are just going to leave the station run and there you get your ratings. Right, it, people are actually going to AMC to watch Walking Dead. Right, so it's it's a pull. Um, you know, property in and of itself that's going to pull people to your network, and you can have add-on shows like Talking Dead, you can have Ride with Norman Reedus, you can have all this other stuff, Robert Kirkman's Secret History of Comics, you can do all this other stuff as add-ons, Fear the Walking Dead to the Walking Dead to kind of really, uh, you know, uh, increase it. So, you know, it's very general in terms of the description. I know you guys want specifics from me and what I think it means. It's really hard to say. You know, could it mean that they're going to be doing some kind of movie or something? It could. Could it mean that they're doing some online content, which could be cool as well, too? You know, if they do, like, uh, some maybe extended webisodes where you get, like, full, you know, uh, like a, a six, you know, a pilot something or origin stories or things like this or flashback episodes or something that uh, we get to see online or something through the, through AMC site or something could be really cool. Um just not sure about them adding on another uh, another series for The Walking Dead with them already doing 32 episodes a year, including Fear as it is, and having crossovers with that and everything like that going. So I am intrigued about this. The only thing that I'm a little bit concerned of is saturation, and I wouldn't want to see them like you get. It's it's a I, I think it's a fine line. You know, you want to produce a lot for your 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 uh, your. You want to have a lot of supply for the demand, but you don't want to overstock the supply so much that the demand starts to decrease because there's just so much. You know, it's it's uh, it's tricky, right? It, it's kind of it's a fine line. It's a Goldilocks zone type of thing where I think they've done really good for adding on Fear and having The Walking Dead too. I'm just not sure about adding on an additional. If they what if they try to do another series on top of this one, and you had all of a sudden. You know, Walking Dead Fear at sixteen, sixteen, and then he did like another sixteen or something. That that might be too much. You know, that might not work at all. So maybe you do six or something if you want to do another series, or maybe you do AMC like TV movie or something like that. Um, you know, or maybe you go for the movie route and you do uh, like a franchise that could be done in theaters or something in 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 the cinemas where you do like a new kind of Walking Dead type of story. Which could be really cool. Um, it's just kind of tricky to have to tie it in, and maybe you could do like sequel or something like that to to that, like build a movie franchise out of it or something. Either way, you know, I'm down for whatever they want to do. The only concern I have is oversaturation. Is really what I'm saying. Like 48, you know, if you go from 32 to 48, and you had three series, then you only have four weeks of the year where there's there's no new Walking Dead on Sundays. That would be kind of crazy. It might be it might be too much, is what I'm saying, right? It might be too much for even the most hardcore you guys, me of fans they might kind of burn it out if they try to do a whole nother series and also you know in terms of like what they can produce you know is it possible for them to do that much like if they added on a whole nother show but if they did like another six episodes in a different country like uh, the uk or wherever you know any country really 
um, except for U.S. and well, I guess you could do it in the U.S. But eh, you kind of, I think a world a, a world option is better to go to a different country entirely. In Mexico, no, because they did that in fear a lot. So it can't be either of those two. You'd have to go with something else entirely, like uh, Europe or or U.K. or who knows um, some other kind of country. It'd be. Ah, tricky stuff. So let me know what you guys think. Write your comments below. What do you think about this? AMC doing more projects. Do you think that we're going to see more online content and more uh, kind of independent stuff like that? Maybe a TV movie to be shown on AMC? Or do you think they might do some other kind of series in addition to what they're doing already uh, and do like a six episodes or something? Um, or the cinematic approach. What would you want to see? What would you be down for? And what do you think would work? That's another question too. Like you might want to see it, but what do you think would actually work to be successful and continue and to do well for AMC? Uh, write your comments below. Let me know what you guys think. If you like this video, please thumb it up below. You can share, you can favorite. And if you're new and you want to subscribe to the channel, I would appreciate it. And you can do it. You can subscribe to the bottom. That's it for this one. I'll see you guys again soon for another video. As always, it's Trev and I'm saying peace. I'll see you guys soon.